The first Indian Rafale aircraft RB008 has incorporated tested and certified all 13 India-specific enhancements, and it will remain in France for the time being. The Indian Air Force will start the ferry flight of the last batch of three Rafale fighters from France to India later this week, that will come equipped with 13 India-specific enhancements, that have already been certified by the concerned authorities. The Indian Air Force has also started upgrade of previously delivered Rafale aircraft to the India-specific configuration at the Ambala Air Base, while incorporation of some of the major components will be done by a team of engineers of Dassault Aviation. Retired military officials have said that the Indian Air Force is already operating seven different types of fighter jets, which leads to multiple logistical problems, and from that perspective, Choosing the already inducted Rafale aircraft in the MRF-8 tender makes logistical sense, and the Rafale is also being evaluated by the Indian Navy, that would not create additional logistical problems. Indonesia signed an acquisition contract for 42 Rafale aircraft last week, and the Indonesian Air Force will receive the first six Rafale aircraft by 2026 which means that the Make in India model is now the only way for the faster procurement of the Rafale aircraft, as additional 36 Rafale order by the Indian Air Force will not start delivery before 2028. Another military expert have said that the most cost-effective choice would be the Su-35, that features all the sensors and capability enhancements that would eventually go into the Su-30 upgrade, but this option will risk of being overly dependent on Russia. Other than France and Russia, no other country will allow their co-produced aircraft to be used by India for nuclear weapons delivery. Bharat Heavy Electricals Limited has received an order for the supply of compact heat exchanger sets for 83 Tejas Mark 1A aircraft from Hindustan Aeronautics, and the order envisages manufacturing assembly testing and supply of compact heat exchangers. Bharat Heavy Electricals Limited is also working with the DRDO for the development of air cycle machine based liquid cooling system for aircraft pod application for the Tejas Mark II aircraft. After Russia's pull out of the Project 75I of the Indian Navy, the program to procure a new line of six advanced attack submarines is on the verge of collapse, as five out of six foreign manufacturers have withdrawn their commercial offer due to terms of the request for proposal, and unable to provide a proven fuel cell-based air-independent propulsion system, backed by lithium-ion battery technology. South Korea is the only remaining contender in the project. And if India fails to convince Germany to participate, the request for proposal will have to be cancelled, since it becomes a single vendor situation. India still has the option to order more Scorpion class submarines with improvements from Mazagan dock ship builders. Israel's Rafale Advanced Defense Systems has announced that an army of an Asian country has signed a deal for the company's BNET software defined radio ground communication systems for installation on vehicular platforms, and the delivery will start in 2022. It will provide a reliable high-speed low-delay connectivity for broadband data, voice and video data communication for ground platforms. The RDO's Defense Bioengineering and Electromedical Laboratory is working on a powered knee exoskeleton called Nexo, and it has released an expression of interest looking for a development and production partner for the program. Five units will be built initially, that will be delivered within four months of signing the contract. The internal testing will take two months to be completed, after which it will be delivered to the Indian Army for user trials. ISRO is developing a new satellite Oceansat 3 worth 30.65 crore rupees, that will be launched in April 2022. The new satellite will cover the entire Indian Exclusive Economic Zone, and will enable the Indian Navy and the Coast Guard to track vessels across a wider area. India's Vedanta Group and Taiwan's Hanhai Technology Group has signed an agreement to form a joint venture to manufacture semiconductors in India. 
the Vedanta Group will invest $15 billion for making displays and semiconductor chips in India over the coming five years. The ITBP's Northwest Frontier has said that it has deployed its sniper units in the higher reaches of the Ladakh sector. The ITBP is currently using the Austrian SSG-69 bolt-action rifle and has floated a global tender for the procurement of 358 sniper rifles of 7.62 by 51 mm that will come with detachable sound suppressors as standard equipment. Oh, my God.